You found Guns 101. It's our video welcome for new gun owners. It's brought to you by the Self-Defense Radio Network. I'm Rob Morse from Self-Defense Gun Stories. My partners are Amanda Suffolk from Eye on the Target Radio. That technical guru back there doing the heavy lifting, that's Paul Lathrop from the Polite Society podcast. We're very fortunate to have Beth Alcazar with us. She's the associate editor and senior training counselor at the United States Concealed Carry Association. She's also the author of the Pacifiers and Peacemakers blog and the author of the book, Women's Handgun Self-Defense. Beth, I want you to talk about that book. We have millions of people that suddenly got a gun. We wish they'd dash out to take classes and they're in quarantine. What yeah. can your book teach them? I want them to all go get a copy while they're in quarantine. They'll come out a lot smarter, really well prepared for their next class. Oh, I think so. Absolutely. Um, beyond having these great videos that you guys are producing, the Women's Handgun Self-Defense Fundamentals is a great companion piece to all of that, where you can basically kind of flip through and find the topics or find the different sections uh, that are interesting to you or maybe that you need to brush up on. And Ultimately, this is basically our curriculum at the USCCA, our women's specific curriculum, where we've kind of split it up into three separate segments or three separate classes, but it also follows my journey. So you get to learn a little bit about what I've experienced and how I've grown. And again, you know, the fact that we all start at the beginning, I did too. So it's not like I jumped in and had all this knowledge, but the first section is really, really watered down, bare bones basics so that people who are new, whether male or female, honestly, they can jump into this introductory level and feel comfortable, feel welcomed, feel confident, and hopefully not feel overwhelmed. In the gun industry, there are a lot of terms, a lot of phrases that we use and we throw around without even recognizing that that could be very unfamiliar to those new folks. It's our jargon. It's our language. And in that first section, you're not going to see any of that without it being very well explained. And hopefully in a way, again, that's very welcoming to the newcomer and especially women. In the second section, I call it the intermediate level. I mean, it's basically the next step in the journey and it goes hand in hand with that first section, but it just dives into more depth and detail. So instead of just getting this um, breadth of knowledge, you're getting a little bit more depth of knowledge. So you're looking at the different terms, the gun parts, the functions, and even the differences between, you know, your two most popular, is it a revolver or a semi-auto? It also gets into the all important discussion for women on what kind of concealed carry holster options there are, what to look for, what's important to decide upon. And then I'm really proud that that third section kind of takes you further out in that journey where it focuses on specifics for women and firearms self-defense, you know, how that how those worlds combine and how you can really mentally prepare, not just physically prepare with a gun and practice and shooting and learning how to manipulate the firearm, but really to have the mindset where you're going to use good situational awareness and you're going to make smart decisions and you're going to understand that really when it all boils down to it, if life is threatened or if you feel uncomfortable or if something has gone wrong, you're going to try to avoid, escape, defend in that order every single time, no matter what. So I'm really, I'm just really proud of what we've been able to produce with this. We call it curriculum, but it's just a really great book for the newcomer, um, for instructors, and most certainly for women, because it was written by a woman. It was actually designed by a woman, and it was also edited by a woman. So I feel really, really encouraged and pleased by by being able to offer that. Well, I'll tell you, Beth, I, I send people to your book uh, often. And one of the reasons why is, is that when new gun owners, when they pick up even the owner's manual, it's like it, you start to read it and it's so technical and, and, you know, and you just l start into this thing and you go, I'm not sure I want to read it all. Um, you know, you're as to whether you read through the whole manual or you just kind of 
open it and read a section and then open another page and read a section. But your book's written in that kind of a way, almost the ver like the Reader's Digest version, where you open it and you can open it to a story or an article or a section and read that and then set it down. And you don't have to. It's not a textbook as such. It's more snippets of information in, in small, compact segments to allow you to absorb them in the manner that you can absorb them. And isn't that just perfect for today's woman? We need little segments and little snippets because we're so busy juggling all the different responsibilities of life with kids and work or school or whatever it is that we've got on our plates. So uh, I'm so glad you recognize it for that, Amanda. It was definitely intentional and hopefully it's very useful that way. Uh, Beth, I, I like it for a different reason. I think that's the way people learn best. If you sit oh, down sure. and s tell somebody, here, study this for four hours, and you go, what'd you read? And they go, I'm not sure. As, as a firearms yeah. instructor, I'm not sure what they know. And by taking it in small steps, here, you know, a chapter every couple of days, now, now you've really learned the material. And if you have questions, you can go back. It's entertaining. It's engaging. I mm -hmm. think it's going to stick. Well, th yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, again, you know, we're actually into the third printing right now. And I know Amanda has an older copy, but I have a new copy and it has my face on it, which I thought was hilarious. I did not pick this cover, but I was very flattered by it. But we're just super excited that it's reaching people where they are. And like you said, Rob, it, it's hopefully reaching them in the place where they can actually learn it and retain it. As an yep. instructor, I mean, that's my background. That is so important to me, especially when it comes to potentially life changing and life saving information. We don't want them to forget it as soon as they hear it. We want it to stick so that they can use it, especially in the time of need. And, and that makes so much sense because if you're absorbing so much stuff, it's like how many things can you juggle at the same time before you set them yeah. on your mental shelf? You know, you're, so much yeah. stuff's coming in into your receptors all at the same time. So if you can pick it up, learn one thing, learn that, set it on the shelf, then learn the next thing, set it on the shelf, it, it works for, for all of us in the way that we learn and the way we absorb as just as, as opposed to so much stuff coming in and when you're a new gun owner there's so much information that you've got to gain and absorb and retain beth i, and now I you basically wonder got a coffee gun... table book that you can keep referencing <laughs> yeah that, you thank you that's what i'm thinking in the sense oh i go take some training it was several hours long a couple weeks later i'm reviewing this book oh yeah that part was mentioned Bingo. in class, not exactly the way it came in the book, but it's a refresher mm -hmm. to cement the new, uh, the new material you're exposed to. And, yeah, and I again, think that that's, that's part of what learning. We need. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is. So, okay, so what last, well, here, we're, we're, we're talking about the book. Let's tell them how they can get the book. Because oh, yeah. that would, you know, they probably... That if might be we want good, yeah. them to have the book, we probably need to tell them where they can get it. So, Beth, go ahead. The easiest thing is to go to the USCCA website or usconcealedcarry.com, and you can click on the store, and then you can look for women's handgun and self-defense self fundamentals, and it should be right there for you to be able to purchase at any time. So, again, just go to USCCA's website and click on the store. There you go. Okay, well, folks, Beth Alcazar talking to us about how, how we learn, what, what USCCA has to offer, women's handguns, and the fundamentals of self-defense. That is a key section of words, the fundamentals of self-defense. You need to know those things. Beth Alcazar, Senior Training Counselor from USCCA. Look her up.